Hi there, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create your own custom animated progress bar or in this case it's going to be showing the level of battery life you have on your watch uh, in the Galaxy Watch Studio. So the first thing we're going to be doing is file new project. I'm going to call this Beast Wars Watch because it's going to be made into that eventually. So I'm going to use a very simple example here. I'm going to be transforming this image I found on Google into a progress bar of some sort that shows the battery life. So the first thing we're going to need is all the frames of our animation for each level of percentage, or at least a lot of the percentages that you would want for the battery life. So 20%, 30, 60, 80, stuff like that. So let's bring up Photoshop or your preferred editing program for photos. And you got to remember that the size of your image is going to have to be 360 by 360. So that's the square we're going to be fitting our image into. So just copy everything. I use Control A, then Control C, then just close it, and Control V to paste it in. And we want this to be a PNG, so double click on the layer, press OK, then delete that layer. And now we can use the wand selection tool here, select the black background and delete it. We're going to be having a background already in the project itself so we don't need to provide one. So this is going to be the base image. So save as, save as a PNG file, navigate to your project file, and I'm gonna make a new folder here, just call it face images. And it has to be in sequential order, which means it has to start from like the lowest number all the way to the highest number. So I'm gonna start with zero one and save it as that. And basically my idea here for a progress bar is gonna be this image here is going to fill up with one color as the battery gets more charged. So I'll show you what, what I mean here. I'm going to click on select, load selection, and that's just going to select all, the entirety of the image here, at least the parts that have color. And I'm going to create a new layer by selecting uh, control, shift, and then N, and just, just name it whatever, that's fine. Grab a paintbrush tool and let's start filling it in with green, let's say. So let's draw a little bit in there indicating the battery is a little bit charged. And save this as, in the same location as before, as O2, because it's, it's the next one over. And now we're gonna fill it up a little more and save it as O3 and so on and so forth. Basically, you wanna do this until you're happy with your progress bar. And I'm not gonna be doing too many levels because this is just a demonstration and I don't need to get too intricate with this. There we are, that is a fully charged battery. Back to the Galaxy Watch Studio. Let's go ahead and click on Image, and let's navigate to where we were saving everything, and just select all of the progress bar images that you've made, open them, and then just hit OK. So you'll notice they're all over the place here. Because we have our images centered to 360 by 360, so click on the first layer down here, scroll all the way down, hold shift and click on the last layer to select all of them. Now up here, you're gonna see a little square that aligns everything to the center. So that's what we're gonna be using, align to center, and now it looks far better. And now we have to actually make the progress bar itself, which is super easy to do. We wanna click this plus icon down here to create a new tab. And this is gonna be battery percent, select that. And now we wanna just try, click down here, hold and click and select all of the layers, right click and hit activate. And now you're gonna see a lot of white boxes, but we don't want everything to be active right now. So just click the corner, select all of the boxes, right click and hit hide. And now scrolling up, I can see I, I missed a few boxes over here. Select those, hit hide. Now I think I've hidden all the boxes and now we can start making our progress bar. So at the very bottom here, I have image one. That's the fully depleted battery. I wanted to show that image up to 5%. You can see here that it goes from zero to 100 along this timeline. That's the timeline of your watch charging, basically. So I want this first image to appear only up to 5%. So right click and hit show. And so this is a very depleted watch. I'm gonna select the next layer over go up to let's say 15 because I don't have a lot of images to work with. Right click, hit show, and now at 15% charged, we can actually check this. If we go over here, select the watch tab, go down, and you can see there's a little slider for battery. 
And as you move the charge up, you can see the progress bar is slowly filling. Now we're going to select a little more, right click, show, and I think you get the idea by now. I'm just going to go ahead and add the rest. There, I've filled up the entire timeline, and now if we go back to the preview over here and fill up the battery, we can see it's slowly filling up the progress bar as well. And this is how you make your own custom progress bar in Galaxy Watch Studio. It's a super simple thing to do, and all this watch is obviously missing is the time, so we can create a digital clock. We can go ahead and change the format right here to get rid of the the uh, 24 hour time and there you have it this is how easy it is to make your own custom progress bar if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below and i'll do my best to answer them and as always thanks for watching